Hello, Classroom 4A. Welcome to class meeting on this Wednesday afternoon, January 6, 2021. I'm going to start our class meeting using a motion song from Starfall. Our letter this week is letter H. So I chose clap your hands, and hands starts with the letter H. Clap your hands. Want to use Starfall for our calendar activity. So I'm going to move over to the January calendar. Yippee! It's January 2021. Let's make a calendar. What a beautiful winter scene! Let's start with the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what day of the week is it today? Well, today is Wednesday. Great job. Today is Wednesday, January 6th. 2021. And if today is Wednesday, then yesterday was Tuesday. And if today is Wednesday, what will tomorrow be? Well, tomorrow will be Thursday. That's right, Thursday. So today is Wednesday, January 6th, 2021. So I'll pick up the day of the week. Wednesday. And the date. Sixth. Great job. Next, I'm going to mark the special days this month. Well, Friday, January 1st was... New Year's Day. Happy New Year. Goodbye 2020 and hello 2021. And today is Wednesday, January 6th, so I'm going to move the smiley face over to today's date. And then Monday, January 18th is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We also have three birthdays from our class. Three of our staff are celebrating their birthdays this month, so I'm going to move us piece of birthday cake over to January 30th this time. And now our Jan January calendar is almost complete. I'm going to finish decorating it though. I'm going to choose a picture to decorate our calendar. This time I'm going to choose the students. It looks like they're celebrating New Year's with their party hats on. Now our calendar is complete. Goodbye. Next, I want to use Starfall for one more activity. Our letter this week is letter H. So I'm going to move over to the talking library and choose the book with the title Humpback Whales. Humpback starts with the letter H. I'm going to turn up the volume just a little bit. 
and we'll get started. Humpback Whales by Stephen Schutz. Humpback whales are not fish. Unlike fish, they must come up for air. Humpback whales have two blowholes. They blow air out, and then they take air back in, just like you. Look at the marks on the tails. Are any of them the same? Each humpback whale has its very own tail mark. Humpback whales make nice sounds that we call whale songs. Other humpback whales can hear these songs from far away. A baby whale is called a calf. The calf drinks its mother's milk. Humpback whales are mammals. Two or more humpback whales are called a pod. The pod works as a team to get food. Humpback whales eat little fish and krill, but how do they catch them? First, they swim in circles, blowing bubbles. The bubbles act like a net and trap their food. They swim up quickly to catch the little fish and krill. Humpback whales do not have teeth; they have baleen. Baleen lets water out, but traps the little fish and krill. Humpback whales like to jump out of the water. They come down with a big splash. We don't know why they do this. Does it look like fun? The end. Next, I would like to read two articles from News to You, the Unique Learning System. The first article is called Jack Hanna Retired. This came out in Current News, January 4th, 2021. Hanna also starts with the letter H. Jack Hanna retired on December 31st. Jack worked at the Columbus Zoo. The Columbus Zoo is near Columbus, Ohio. Jack was a leader at the Columbus Zoo. He taught many people about animals. Jack worked at the Columbus Zoo for 42 years. Jack retired from the Columbus Zoo. The word retire means to stop working. The Columbus Zoo wanted to honor Jack. They created a new special area. People can learn about animals in the area. And here we have a Jack Hanna recipe, Hanna banana pudding with vanilla pudding, cold milk, container of frozen whipped, four bananas, animal crackers, a large bowl, a whisk, a baking dish, and a spatula. And here's the recipe. Step one, put the pudding and milk into the bowl. Step two, whisk for two minutes. Put whipped topping into the bowl. Gently whisk until combined. Step four, put the slices of banana in the baking dish. Step five, a third of, of pudding mixture into onto the banana slices. Put a layer of animal crackers onto the pudding mixture. Step seven, repeat steps four through six two times. Refrigerate for two hours and eat. Oh, that looks delicious. And here we have our two jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Rhino. Rhino who? Rhino when the zoo opens. I know when the zoo opens. Next joke. I have a joke. Tell me. Why can a cheetah not hide? I don't know why. It is always spotted. Now we're going to choose pictures about 
the Jack Hanna Retired article. Was it about fossils? No. But what about animals? Yes. Retired? Yes. Snowflakes? No. Are they honoring Jack Hanna? Yes, for his work that he did at the zoo. And now for our review questions. Number one, what is the paper about? The movie called Soul, Harbor Ice and Snow Festival, or Jack Hanna Retired? Well, the article is about Jack Hanna retiring. Number two, who worked at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium? Jack Hanna, Jamie Foxx, or Carrie Underwood? Jack Hanna worked at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Do you like his hat? Hat starts with the letter H also. Number three, where is the Columbus Zoo? Is it in Provo, Utah, Columbus, Ohio, or Duluth, Minnesota? The Columbus Zoo is in Columbus, Ohio. All right, I have one more article and then we're gonna wrap up our class meeting. It's another article that came out in Sports News today, January 6th, breaking news, Heisman Trophy winner. Heisman starts with the letter H. Devontae Smith holding a trophy is, what's, is who is pictured here with, he's holding his trophy there. Congratulations to Devontae. Devontae Smith won the 2020 Heisman Trophy on January 5th. The best college football player in the United States wins the Heisman Trophy. Many people think Devontae is the best college football player. Devontae plays football for the University of Alabama Crimson Tide football team. He is a wide receiver. The last time a wide receiver won the Heisman Trophy was in 1991. Devontae set many records and won many awards during the 2020 football season. He is the third player from the University of Alabama to become a Heisman Trophy winner. Congratulations, Devontae. And now we have the same article. This time we have pictures with the words. Breaking news today, January 6, 2021. Devontae Smith won the 2020 Heisman Trophy. He won the trophy on January 5th. That was yesterday. The best college football player wins the Heisman Trophy. Devontae plays football for the University of Alabama. He is the third player from the University of Alabama to win. Devontae is a wide receiver. The last time a wide receiver won the trophy was in 1991. Devontae set the records during the 2020 football season. He won many awards, too. Congratulations, Devante. And now for our three review questions. I'm going to pick up my pen this time. What does the best college football player win? The Heisman Trophy, the Lombardi Trophy, or the Wimbledon Cup? The Heisman Trophy. And what does Heisman start with? The letter H. Number two. What university does Devontae Smith play football for? University of Alabama, University of Oregon, or University of Pennsylvania? Devontae Smith plays for the University of Alabama. And our last question, what is Devontae Smith, a goalie, a quarterback, or a wide receiver? Well, Devontae Smith is a wide receiver. Great job with our review questions today. I hope you enjoyed our class meeting on this Wednesday, January 6, 2021. I, I know I enjoyed the book about the humpback whales and learning about Jack Hanna's retirement and the Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. I hope you all have a great afternoon, a wonderful evening. Stay safe. Remember to wash your hands thoroughly and wear your mask correctly when you're out in the community. I hope you uh, have a great evening and I look forward to you joining my next YouTube class meeting. Bye.